Hello, everybody. As just to start off the video, I want to thank everyone who has subscribed or liked any of my videos or even just commented something nice. And even just for seeing my video, I probably said that twice, but oh well. But, and I just wanted to thank everyone for doing that. It means so much to me. But uh, otherwise, I'd, all right, I'd like to talk about the topic of this video. So today, I'm going to be telling all of you how to get, essentially, infinite runes, like, right at the beginning of the game. Uh, so all you have to do before this is kill Father Guacamole, and then get access to the Cathedral Ward, which is where I am now. Then, from the Cathedral Ward, I'm going to tell you where to find the location, where, where the Bloodstar Beast is, and then how to get to the Bloodstar Beast very quickly. So, uh, let's go on a bit of an adventure. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So, when you first go out, you're going to want to go to the left. Then you're going to get into a clearing with a well in the middle. There will be two paths, one to the left, one to the right. You're going to want to take the one to the left. <sighs> because the right one is not where we want to go. Because it's obvious, though. <laughs> anyway. So when you get down, you're, you're going to find a few Yarnamites and a few dogs, and you're going to want to take them out real quickly. And, um... Alright, anyway. Uh, then you're going, to, you're going to want to go to the left side of the cathedral. And then you're going to be going up the flight of stairs, and there's going to be two dogs and a guy with a gun. And you can really take these guys out in any order. I prefer to take out the, the gunman first, and then the dog. It's so fucking annoying. But you can take them in any order. Well, in that case, I guess I did take out the dogs first, but. Anyway, now then, now that you've done that, you're going to want to go to the right into a room with a door in front of you, but then there's a door to the right of you, and you're going to want to go into the door to the right. Then you're going to want to pull the lever that's in front of you, then, then you can just go to the left, and then drop off there, but and then get into the church, but then there's going to be one more guy. You're going to want to take him out. Then after you're done with that, you're going to want to go into the new path that's been opened up right here. Then you're going to want to go down the stairs, then there's going to be another doorway to the far right of the room, then you're going to go down those stairs, then there's going to be a werewolf down those stairs, and you're going to want to take him out first, unless you're just really fast. Just past him, because I think it's just too annoying not to. But he likes a werewolf running around, and you know what Anyway. Then after you do that, you're going to want to go down these stairs right here, at the end of the room. You're going to want to go then, uh, circle around a bit, then go down these this ladder, then go down these stairs. Then you're going to find a, another lamp. You're going to want to light that lamp. I already have it lighted because I've already gone through this. Anyway, and then you're going to want to go to the left of the room over here. You're going to have the well. When you first try to open the door, there'll be like a note saying that hunters are not wanted here, but we're just going to ignore that and we're going to open up the door. Let's go through. We're going to get to the, the old one. Up. And uh, then uh, we're going to go in this area. We're going to go go across this bridge right here. Then we are going to take out the east here. Just like that. I'm using the 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 whirly god. Sorry. The, wor the Whirly Gig saw for this. <laughs> um, you, it's a DLC weapon. I might, I might do a good thing with that. Uh, it is a really fun weapon to use, though. Oh, I'm so sure. There we go, that's what we get with them. We just keep on going uh, through the bridge. Then we go to the right, down these stairs. 
Now, there's usually going to be a guy up there in that clock tower who will shoot at you, and you can hide behind these statues and such to not get hit. But I've already killed them, so we'll just keep doing that. And another tip, you usually have to go on the path to play, but you can just come down here pretty easily and just skip all that. You will take a bit of fall down as well. And then the hunter here, who we will just ignore because he's annoying. Then we're going to keep on going down here. I'm going to head into this broken window, then go out on the first door to our right. Then we will go to the left, and then, very careful, fall down on the platform right here. Then we will go look behind us and get this platform right here. Then we will just go down here. And then just go through. There's, uh, there's usually a thing here to come in. Then you just go over here. And then if you want to unlock a shortcut, you can just go to your right. Then it, it'll uh, be here. Just go up this letter. Just ignore them for now. But yeah, you, do, you just go up this ladder and it will unlock a shortcut. I've already unlocked it, but I just want to show you guys in case you guys don't know that. Then, anyway, we're gonna. We're just gonna go back down here. And we're gonna kill this guy. Real quick. Alright, there we go. There we go. go. Again. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So, then now that now that when when we go down this ladder, we're gonna look to our left. We're gonna go down there. We're gonna be another path. We're gonna follow that path. Go through this hallway right here. And if we go in, then we're gonna go to our left. Then we will see a stairway. We're gonna go down that stairway. Then we're gonna go to our left again. So many left. And we're gonna go through this little uh, like way here. Uh, usually a werewolf would burst through that door. You might have to fight him. I don't like fighting them. I just like to run past them because you can do that fairly easily. And if it's going this way, then you will, when you get to this part right here, you can go to the left. Usually there will be a wandering madness right here, but I've already killed him. He drops a few, uh, bloodstone shards. And you keep, and then you go down these stairs. And, um, then go into there. This big cathedral. This is the boss. Uh, if, I'm not going to fight him here. But um, what you a good thing to do is to get fire in your weapon, and then get some pungent, some pungent beast cocktails because you can just throw the pungent beast cocktails, and then it'll distract him, and he'll attack there, and then you, you can deal some pretty decent damage. But anyway, uh, then what you're going to want to do is head over to these to the hunter's dream then I will tell you what to do when you get there. Alright, now that you're here in Hunter's Dream, assuming that you've killed the Bloodstarved Beast, you're going to want to uh, go look to your left, over there. You're going to see a bunch of these, uh, these first r Ritual Altar, second r Ritual Altar. I, I have it on both of these. This is my uh, second go around. Well, more than tick, but <laughs> all right. I'm gonna tell you guys how to do it. Anyway, you're gonna want to go up to any of these, any of these. Then you're gonna go to, you wanna select it using X. Then you're going to select Search by Chalice Glyph, and you're gonna want to put in C U M M M F P K. I know, very funny. Uh, semen. Then you wanna go to. This should show up. Uh question mark, place name, question mark, um, then you want to want to select that, then join the selected chalice dungeon, then, there we go, then you are going to want to back up a bit, then select it, then just go to chamber of the seal, alright, there we go, now that we're here, you're just going to want to come up to this lamp over here, light it, and you're just going to want to walk through this little area right here. Then look to your left. And witness this enemy guy. I think he's like this really high level hunter. I saw that somewhere. And he gets stuck in this trap. 
and you just wait for him to die, and then, boom, you get all those Splatikos. This will conclude this episode of Bloodborne Tutorials, and I was fun making it. I hope you guys enjoy it, and goodbye. <laughs>